You can't put off the responsibility of tomorrow by neglecting it today. I think one of the saddest things would be if my grandchildren never saw a brook trout or fish for a brook trout. Brook trout are predicted to go extinct in the next 50 to 100 years. A lot of these streams will simply be too warm. The value of the resource is limited and it's unique. Once it's gone, we never have it again. A riparian area is the buffer area around a stream or a lake. These streams were acting in harmony with the environment around them, but through human interaction, the riparian areas do not provide the functions that we're concerned about. Most of this 1,200 miles of trout water that we have in northeast Minnesota had significant logging occur. Our streams need big forests. That's not something that happens overnight. Forests up here in northeast Minnesota historically were 70% conifer dominated and 30% hardwoods like birch and aspen. Today that trend is totally flipped. In order to get back to that composition, which is necessary for resilience of the forest into the future, we need to help it along by planting and protecting those species. A lot of our riparian areas are the wrong species. They're not expected to be there in the future without actively going in and trying to convert a lot of our riparian areas into tree species that will be long-lived to provide shade to the streams, to keep them cold. These streams will not contain brook trout. In 50 years, when the models are really predicting significant climate changes, these trees are gonna be at the appropriate age to provide the shading and the riparian benefits. If we delay that action even 10 years, it may be too late. The reward comes years and generations in the future when that tree is 100 feet tall, standing on the shore of the biggest freshwater lake in the world. It's really our legacy. It's what we're gonna leave behind. It's what future generations are gonna see that we did with our time and our resources. Native brook trout, they're jewels in the stream. To be able to pick one up for just a moment and to hold it in your hand and release that fish back into the wild is something to be treasured. We need mature forests that are shading the stream, they're filtering runoff, and they are ensuring that we have viable trout streams in the face of climate change. <laughs>